Hi, my name is Tyler, son of Nadia. Welcome to our little family joint over in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Welcome to Nadia's Jamaican Kitchen. There's Mama right there, cooking up some veggies. Been to Jamaica personally many times because of family, her dear grandma, and a bunch of cousins and nephews and stuff down there, but we just wanted to bring back a little taste of what she had to offer for us in our little own family recipe. and welcome to Nadia's Jamaican Kitchen. This is my family. Of course, is my mom. That's, that's Miss Lou. So we call her Mama Lou. So I named a lot of the food up after my mom, like the brown stew, Mama Lou brown stew chicken and the, the Mama Lou's oxtail. Um, she has um, this passion of cooking and I tell you my mom's story starts with um, the cooking in our, our neighborhood in Jamaica and, and people would literally come to her um, to ask her to do Christmas baking she would do um, baking for weddings for Christmas she would cook for families for funeral for every little thing and my children loved my cooking too mm -hmm. and I wanted to ha have the whole entire community just love my cooking and we do have customers that come back and again and again and again for our cooking so thank you So this goes with the entree. So the entree is jerk chicken and um, red beans and rice. So in Jamaica we call it rice and peas and mixed vegetables. So And I also, with that too, we do have a sauce that goes with the jerk chicken. So this is the sauce that I created. It's made in-house. Um, it's called Nadia's jerk sauce. This, liver, this sauce goes with anything. Um, I have people tell me they put it on their eggs. They put it on, on their pizza. They put it on their salad. So um, it's been a dream of mine and how I came about about this, I was very, very persistent and making sure that I'm going to make sure that my dream comes through. So what I did um, last year, I decided, okay, I am 54, I'm not getting any younger, so I need to do this. So what I did, I literally sold my house. I sold my house and um, used all the money put in this place. Um, when I opened this place, it was very challenging. But we, here we are now and thank God I stick to my dreams. And remember, you're never too old to start your dreams. <laughs>